France 24's Angela Diffley joins me now live from there. Angela, tell us a bit more about what we know about what this working lunch is all about. Yeah, so Alassane Ouattara was very warmly greeted by Macron and the two wives as well. This really illustrates these two men are very much partners. And high on the list of what will be discussed today is reinforced security in the area. Alassane Ouattara, of course, has 500 kilometres of border to worry about. And in recent times, uh, jihadists and uh, Islamist in Insurgents have been entering his country, Ivory Coast, from neighbouring Burkina Faso and from Mali. Of course, France was engaged initially at the request of the Malian government to put down an insurgency, a, an Islamist insurgency in Mali, and uh, over the years has had mixed success with that. And, of course, when the junta took over in Mali, they firmly told the French to go. The French are no longer present in Mali. And, of course, Burkina Faso has recently said and given France a deadline to withdraw its troops. So France is no longer present in either uh, Mali and soon Burkina Faso. And this is a real concern for Alassane Ouattara. His country has very similar ethnic tensions to both Burkina Faso and Mali. He doesn't want... Uh, this Islamist insurgency to gain a foothold in his own country. And, of course, those two countries both embraced in the place of Fra a partnership with France a partnership with the Russian mercenary group, the Wagner Group, and that is a real worry both for Ivory Coast and France, which increasingly sees Russia moving into Central and West Africa. Right. And to push that point a little bit further, this meeting, of course, comes as there really has been a growing anti-French sentiment across large parts of Africa. Yeah, there has. And, uh, for example, e even uh, in some of these countries, a lot of uh, French businesses are targeted, ransacked, vandalized. There have been protests. Uh, there were very, very significant protests in both Mali and uh, Burkina Faso, often egged on, it said, by the juntas in those two countries. And there is something of a propaganda war going on. It is felt that Russia is clearly... Uh, stoking anti-French sentiment and uh, uh, being very present on social media and trying to stoke this anti-French sentiment in, in parts of Africa. And uh, France has decided that it needs to up its game on social media. And France has also called upon African intellectuals who... Uh, feel warmly towards France to make their voices heard on social media as well. There will be uh, talk of economic uh, partnerships today as well with uh, uh, the leader of Ivory Coast. And of course, as is always the case uh, uh, when uh, leaders come, uh, Ivory Coast is keen to see progress on visas for its citizens today in its talks with uh, Emmanuel Macron. And of course, France is the biggest economic investor in Ivory Coast. So there will be lots to talk about. And certainly, Macron will feel very much that he's with someone who is much more pro-French than many of the leaders around this part of Africa. Angela, thank you for that. France 24's Angela Diffley, they're reporting from the Elysee Presidential Palace.